You ever think about a Disney princess? I mean, we've probably all watched some sort of Disney movie that involved the princess. I'm a big fan of Aladdin, I don't know about yourself, but we usually depict this kind of princess as someone being very pretty, generally in shape, and someone that could definitely woo over a handful of men. Unless uh, it's, you know, 2024 and you're trying to remake old Disney stories to be more woke. Wow. That's a different story. Today we're gonna be talking about a different kind of princess. Princess Kalina from Bulgaria and her dramatic, almost inhuman change to her face. Now, before I even get started, I wanna talk about something that you might find really relevant. I know there's quite a few gamers in my audience. I like a good game here and there. Don't have as much time as I would love to to play them these days, but I do enjoy some games. And one of my favorite games that ever existed was Fallout 3, a beautiful, beautiful, polished game. Not really that polished, but something that I think is in the epitome of my happiness of a child since, you know, forever. I, I, I love that game. But you might remember there was these things called ghouls in that game. And, and essentially what they were was hyper radiated humans that turned into non-human variations of themselves, losing most of their skin, losing a lot of their facial cartilage and presenting as almost a living skeleton. And I swear that there is a very good reason that I'm bringing this up to you. Here we have Princess Kalina, at least a very early form of Princess Kalina. It didn't take her very long to get really infatuated with working out and enjoying to work out. She mentions several times in different blog posts that this was something she did to create a little bit of sanity for her and all the pressures on the outside started to go away when she was in the gym lifting weights. Well, she didn't just lift weights, she ended up doing a lot of facial lifting as well. Um, some maybe not so great facial lifting. Then this completely transformed into what we saw just a few months ago when she was attending an event looking like a absolute fucking unit of a woman. I mean, her delts are literally bigger than mine. Like, for sure bigger than mine. That's pretty fucking nuts, to be honest. And she's making her dude look like an absolute twig in comparison to her. I, I, I don't know. But you also might notice a couple things that are quite interesting on her face. For one, her cheekbones have really grown suddenly and really, really sharply. Her jawline as well, especially around that lower mandible, have also really grown. Now, a lot of people on Reddit, on Twitter, formerly known as Twitter, at least at now is X, have mentioned this being insane. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Her arms, her face, like, everything is just gargantuanized and very, may I say, masculinized. Now, in all honesty and in complete fairness to her, the facial reconstruction thing isn't actually plastic surgery. This was in response to a dental infection that she had where essentially she needed facial reconstruction therapy. She had to have part of her nose removed, a lot of her dental jaw <laughs> and she is missing a lot of features that we would generally have normally and so her face kind of looks as i was saying ghoulish which i don't want to be rude it's not her fault it just happened to her and then on top of having this extremely muscular physique doesn't do a whole lot of favors princess kalina actually did address this in a very vague ambiguous statement and this article really tries to be nice as possible by saying that the thing that caught people's attention wasn't her waist cinching dress nor her vibrant or hair that commanded attention, but rather her never before seen muscular physique that has left royal fans questioning how long the princess has actually been sporting such an athletic frame. And so people are pointing it out, thinking that if she's willing to alter her physique, she's willing to alter her physical appearance, and this is all failed plastic surgery. Not necessarily the case. She literally had to have reconstructive surgery on her face because of the dental, basically, treatment that was shit, and her facial features got removed because of this treatment. But you can see here, when she was an art student, she looked vibrant, young, beautiful, much more like a princess that you or I would begin to expect being one. But this was back in 1989. You see, as soon as she started to get older in age, she started cutting her hair shorter and started getting really 
into lifting weights. And then in early 2000s, the princess made headlines after she appeared to have undergone major facial surgery, resulting in a dramatic different appearance. Now, Princess Galena has been keen on exercising for many years, but her dramatic transformation suggests that the royalty has at least majorly upped her discipline within the gym. At 52 years old, she's devoted herself to training in the recent years, but she has definitely grown in the upper body more than the lower body. Her husband does praise her physical conditions and says that he enjoys it. He thinks that a healthy lifestyle is good and pair that with good nutrition, she's likely to live a lot longer and it reflects in a beautiful skin tone. In a blog post, she actually stated that her workouts consisted of the following. It was a mix of cardio and weight training on Monday and Thursday. She would do abs, legs, back, triceps, and glutes. Tuesday and Friday, she would do abs, pecs, shoulders, biceps, and glutes. And then on Wednesday and Saturday, she would do a 30 minute run. She does a 70 kilo row for 12 reps four sets, 30 kilos of shoulder press, and does that for 24 reps, and then does the same thing for biceps. She says that when your body and mind say enough, your spirit must push and say, but in the end, it always pays off. Quoting herself as saying she is an athlete and that the only reason she does this and lifts weights is because it makes her feel good and feel healthy. And like I mentioned, she also talks about it's her safe space. But let's be for fucking real here. We all know on this channel that this isn't achievable naturally not even close, not even a musel of this result would be achievable in any female in any kind of natural situation. So what was our princess doing then? How did she develop these musculature features and these cheekbones that are so pronounced? And if we have any Bulgarians here in the chat, let me know if I'm wrong about this, but in Bulgaria, it's very little cared about if people use hormones or steroids. Pharmacies sell this stuff, and as long as you're not parading around injecting yourself on the streets, generally no one's gonna say anything or think twice. They're more concerned about bigger matters that do actually impact other people's life. And so it wouldn't surprise me as this princess is in a country where steroids are relatively legal and even better yet, she's had a history of drug use, driving drunk being one of those things where she has the right to drive being revoked from herself. I wouldn't really expect her to not take steroids. If she really does love the gym so much and aspires to be giant and in fitness a lot, I would argue it's probably something she's willing to leverage. Even then, considering that, well, all she has is her beauty, and that was kind of stripped from her unfairly so, and the ability to dive into the steroids and get these crazy arms and this amazing physique by most people's standards was probably pretty, in her mind, advantageous. And we've talked about a lot of other people on this channel, Meg Sylvester, and many more who have also done the same thing to their selves. Females abusing any form of anabolic steroids do begin to masculinize themselves. And I say this with very, very, I mean, like so much importance, you guys. Understanding that it only takes 60 milligrams of testosterone per week to convert a female into a male for trans hormone therapy. And so most of the females that are out there taking androgens, taking stuff like 10 milligrams of anavar a day, which they seem as you know, pretty innocuous. It's generally okay. But then it actually turns out that this is 70 milligrams a week over the dose of androgens that would convert a female into a male. And I would imagine that she is very much doing the same kind of thing. And this is why we're seeing those cheekbones becoming so pronounced, that mandible growing out in shape, and of course, the more muscular arms. Now, I'm not here to bash anyone for using anabolic steroids because, again, I use them myself. I think they are great when used contextually appropriately. But the thing is, is most people don't use them appropriately. Most people abuse them recklessly for their entire life and don't think twice about it until, of course, it's too late and their bodies are too far gone to ever turn back. And this, I might postulate, is what happened to our princess here. She felt a need to fill the gap that was her beauty stolen from her at a young age, and that gap was building muscle. Much of what we talk about here is also that bodybuilders do what they do due to a form of insecurity. But what do you think about this transformation? Sure, it's you know a shame that her facial reconstruction didn't go as advantageously as some might hope, but do you think her taking androgens actually contributed to her looking like this? And do you think that she is taking androgens? Maybe there is a possibility that she's natural as she has never really claimed to take any kind of pharmaceutical. In short, the TLDR of this video, I do believe that she's likely going to 
have these facial kind of reconstructive growths due to these anabolic steroids like her cheekbones and mandible. And I certainly think that most females can take a look at this and say, okay, I know that she had facial reconstruction done, but even then her face has not improved since having that surgery. It's arguably gotten worse. And that if I overdose these compounds, you know, females watching this, if, if you do, the same thing will likely happen to me. And so if you are watching this, always get a coach, always contact a medical care professional. Please don't just be recklessly following what your boyfriend tells you to do or the gym guy tells you to do. The Anavar that he gave you is not smart to take. There's so many other ways to go about doing things for your health and physique that don't involve using male hormones. Please just stay away from them at all costs. As a female, your femininity is one of the most important assets that you have in which you cannot get back if it's lost. And so Regarding that, keep it safe. And that's all I gotta say about that matter. If you like this video, keep consuming my other content. Watch these videos, consume, consume it all. Consume the content, consume, consume, consume.